Where is Miss Shalom? Still sleeping. Miss Shalom is recovering very slowly, so she can't stay awake for too long every day. <sighs> Miss Rahu, I'm here to tell you that your room has been cleaned and is ready for you. I'll go after finishing the risk assessment. This villa needs to be searched thoroughly. I will check every corner. Do I need a permit? No, you have free access to every corner of this house. Here are the keys to all the rooms. Or do you prefer that I go with you? Uh, actually, it's just something I want to tell you. Miss Shalom is a gentle person and the best boss I've ever had. She's friendlier than all the other East Side elites. If this hadn't happened, I would have never guessed that she's from Paradesos. She's getting such cruel treatment simply because she's from Paradesos. She's such a gentle person and has clearly done nothing wrong, yet no one can take her away. Miss Rahu, you'll protect her, won't you? The blue rain suppresses anything mania-related, whether they are sinners or corruptors. It's unlikely that the enemy will launch any large-scale attacks in the next few days. A couple of routine checks will do. No need to be as tense as the past few days. Go and get some rest. You all must be tired. Leave the rest to me. Your boss will be fine. Miss Shalom has been here for less than a year and has kept a low profile. We didn't know that she was from Paradesos until she was attacked for the first time three days ago. In the beginning, our superiors took the initiative to contact us, mentioning that Paradesos was aware of our situation. They instructed us to protect the VIP and regularly update the safety data, assuring us that support would arrive soon. But since then, there's been no word from it's just been us sending data, always sending more data. We want to reach out to Paradisos, but who even knows where or who they are? I know our efforts barely amount to actual protection, but I don't even understand the current situation. I constantly feel like someone's watching us. Even if things are hard to organize in Syndicate, it's clear that other members of Paradisos are all under heightened protection. I just don't get it.
Sergeant Rahu? <laughs> Why did you wake up at this hour? If you feel unwell, I'll call the doctor or the maid. I'm fine. I slept for a long time and dreamt of rain. And when I opened my eyes again, it was quite late. What about you? Are you staying up all night to stand guard? That's my job. You should get some rest. The blue rain also affects sinners. Judging from the way you look, you haven't slept well for a long time. You must be feeling tired, no? Don't force yourself. No need to worry. The most important thing is your safety. Let me take you back to your room to rest. You look really stressed. Can I help you with anything? When are you planning to go back to Paradisos? Why do you ask that? You are in grave danger right now. They should take you back. The Sheriff's capabilities are totally not up to par for someone from Paradisos. Do you have a reason for insisting on staying here? Or... Is it because you can't go back? Did you hear any interesting rumors about me? For example, that I'm a disgraced and exiled Paradisos noblewoman. Those are just people's speculations about Paradisos. It doesn't correspond to reality. I have my reasons for staying here. Let's cut to the chase. Your life is in grave danger, but the security force assigned to protect you is abysmal, and no one has come to escort you to safety. You've been cast here like a piece of meat thrown to a pack of wolves. It makes no sense. Let me just ask you straight up. Did Paradesos abandon you? Or are you their bait? Are they sacrificing you just to catch the culprit of these attacks? If that's the case, will you give up your mission, Sergeant Rahu? I will keep you safe until the danger is gone. Is it out of sympathy? I'm an FAC soldier. Protecting you is my job. My work doesn't require sympathy. Then who assigned you this mission? It wouldn't make any sense to protect bait. So, why are you here? The sheriffs here pleaded for help again and again. They were kept in the dark and caught up in this crisis. Those around you are innocent and so are you. The FAC can't just let all of you die like this. I see. Thank you. The original plan will remain unchanged, but since you're here, I hope you'll protect me and catch the culprit at the same time. Also, I hope you don't get hurt from this dangerous mission. Let me walk you back to your room, to rest. No power, no background, a frail body, 
and not even a family member to seek help from. And that's why Paradesos chose her. No one will care if she dies. Even if I save her and gain her trust, it'll be impossible to get to Paradesos through her. She can't even go back her and that woman is useless. <laughs> but the fish I'll catch seems quite valuable. The enemy the Paradisos wants to catch. A bunch of media killers. You old foxes. What do you want from her? If I catch him first, will you guys come to me? <laughs> Just you wait. I'll bring the meat right to your mouths. You're... that FAC. Wait, where are you going? Don't leave! Having you here is enough. I'm off to clear the real threats. 